So hi there. Uh, again, tonight I'm shooting the moon. This is actually the fourth night this week. I started like five, six days ago when the moon was still waxing, which means it's growing larger. Uh, tonight is the first night of the full moon. Typically you get three nights that are considered full moon and then you get into a waning mood. doing is I'm shooting the moon literally I have a 150 to 600 with a 2x converter it gives me a working 1200 millimeter lens which is pretty good uh, the biggest drawback though with this larger lens and this is a slower lens so my starting aperture at 1200 millimeters is f13 um, which is fine. I'd like to take a few shots at f11, but 13 is good. So what I'm going to be doing is taking a series of shots starting at probably I don't know, around 250, maybe 300 ISO. Uh, lower shutter speed, probably around 1 1 25th of a second, maybe even a little slower, but not much because as you'll see in the next shot following this one, the moon moves pretty fast across the screen, so you gotta constantly readjust. So, and that's because of the long lens length. If I were shooting at a 300, I could probably do this handheld. But at 1200, not gonna happen. So, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, this should be a good night for this. Full moon, clear skies, looks good. Now, if you watch this very closely, you'll actually see the moon moving. And you also see it just the slightest touch translates into vibrations. Uh, I've taken all my photos, it's now the next day, and I'm ready to start editing. And what I discovered was, after looking at the, the shots that I took last night of the full moon, I wasn't too happy with those, so I'm just reverting back to the previous day. So what I want to do is I want to combine several of these images all together into one. And I've tried several different methods doing this. Um, one is to create an HDR, high dynamic range image in Photoshop, which is, it works, it does a really good job, and, but it's a little bit complicated in several steps. Another is to take several images and then convert them to a smart object into Photoshop. And again, that works really well, but it's several, several steps. And so what I kind of discovered by accident is the way that, or at least one way that Lightroom can do it. So you select your images, which I've already done here. In Lightroom, you go to Photo, Merge, where is it? Photo Merge, HDR. Click that. Let's do its thing. I select auto align. I select auto settings and I make sure I have high because I want high quality images. And you just let it do its thing. And once it's all together, even though you're not seeing anything here, if you just click on merge and let it go. All right, you'll see a new image pop up and it goes black. Don't worry about that. Open it up and develop. As for some reason, it just tends to go bonkers with some of the settings. So just reset everything back.
and then start your normal editing. What I like to do is completely turn the saturation off because the moon is a grayscale image. Let's get this nicely cropped. And there you pretty much have it. Easy as can be. So thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, please click that like button. If you haven't subscribed, then please do that. And I'll see you in the next one.